When I was growing up, literally the border was, we would drive to a place called Lukeville. We'd stop and wait and at 8 a.m. a little old rancher would come out and unlock the padlock on a gate and then we'd go through. It was always interesting growing up in Tucson, understanding Latin America and then also really being very rooted in the United States. Something I've been interested in is this idea of like Pan-Americanism. An aesthetic rooted in the Americas that moves forward, generates discussion globally, but is also aware of its past. When I came back to painting, I embarked more on this graphic approach. More intrinsically, how your identity is formed, how it can be reflected in color and the arrangement of space and shapes. Let me inject myself into the conversation of like what Peruvian designers were doing in the 1300s or the 1200s, standing in opposition to the standard Western idea of everything originates out of Western concepts of space and, and time. It both like elevates and it alters the way we read the past. And I think that that's super important, you know, especially right now. The title of the piece is Los Angelitos Negros. It's originally a poem but it was covered by a lot of Latin American bands and even American groups as well, like Roberta Flack. The first line of the song, which is based on the poem, it says, Pintor nacido en mi tierra con pincel extranjero. And like that line alone in English translates to painter that was born in these lands, but with a stranger's brush. Would you please paint me a black angel? That's something that so I think hits to the core of what I think lots of people in the Western Hemisphere essentially are grappling with. This history of erasure, a history of not putting value on yourself. There's a lot of Angelitos Negros here that never get painted. Let's make a little Angelito Negro here. Originally when Aaron and Ann approached me about doing the entrance, my first reaction was like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do that. That's a big space. I was thinking really introspectively and I was thinking very intimately and like I wanted these kind of smaller pieces <laughs> that maybe you would view in the darkness. The more that I ruminated on it, the more I thought about what it means to create the entrance, both like architecturally, but also, you know, the spirit of what that is. Yeah, you know, I want to create a, a big welcoming 